Good morning, peeps. Hope everyone's doing fine this morning. I've been um sick this week, but my day off this morning, I got up in the mood to to replace the ESC that was bad on my new iFly AX2. I finally got everything running on it, so I want to do a build review on it. It went together really good. It's uh got the I flight um, up to a um, four cell 15 amp um, power on uh, tower power but uh it all went together really good but I got it together to start with and the uh, ESC number one was bad in it so I got it replaced has the um the battery plugs on it and uh and the RX solders up and the battery cable solders up everything else is plugs in um, but the pads are really small especially on the RX side so I really wish they would have left the plug in for the RX I would rather have um, soldered the motor wires up rather than the RX because it's real technical right there in that particular spot but the camera the camera just still has a plug and uh but I got the better first person view level 5 by 5000 kV motors on it along with the um the Emacs Avon Micro um four um four prop propellers which they sound really good on it. I, I this morning I have test flown it with um, 3s and 4s here in the house, and it it really really has flew really well. You know this nice little rig right here. I I cleaned it up pretty good. I feel I put the heat shrink on the arms to, for the wires and stuff, which a lot of times I can't do that with because of the size of the arms, but. I want to do something a little special for this little jewel right here. Well, with the um, with the padding on the bottom and and all the zip ties and all that was involved in it, she finished out at um, 85 grams, which is which I feel is really good. But uh, I'm gonna do some test flights on it today. This is the only day this week it's not gonna be raining, so maybe I can get some flights in the day with it. And it has the um the Fox Shure Predator V2 camera on it. I was gonna use the Cadex ES um EOS2 Turbo, but um my um spacers would not work out properly. And whenever that happens, most time it creates Jello. You know, so I just soon the put a camera in there that fits without having to use spacers because it's a it's real pain also that weight also included the uh, run cam DVR I mounted it to the bottom of the top plate which it shoots a really good a really good um, video especially with a 1000 TVO camera so it's not no Cadex or anything or a run cam split too, but I'm gonna tell you it still shoots a good video with um this with this um quality of a camera. You take a Cadex or a run cam split too, you know the the um the T V L on those cameras ain't but eight hundred. Everything else is processed in a DVR. But this is a one thousand T V L so it still shoot still should shoot a really good video. And um, it don't add to the weight of it, and you'll get a lot better video quality than the through the DVR goggles. But I just wanted to share this with you, and hope everyone has a great day, and enjoy your Sunday morning. Bama first person view out, and thanks for watching.